Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Zero Plays. Uh, it's been a while, <laughs> um, depending on when this goes up. Um, but this is Zero back again with something different. Um, <clears throat> if you've been uh, following my channel for a long time, you probably remember I did Super Double Dragon years ago with uh, my friend Corey. Um, and so this is a follow-up. Um, <clears throat> I am doing Return of the Double Dragon, which is the Japanese version, which has a few more features. I actually own a physical, the physical re-release of this, um, but I'm actually playing this off of EverDrive because <coughs> um, my physical release is away. I just finished moving stuff like that, and uh, not everything's set up yet, so I'm playing this off my uh, my uh, roommate's EverDrive. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a single player run of the game. And uh, just real quick here, I'm going to show you guys the game is going to be on normal mode. And I'm going to put the credits up to 9 just in case. I'm going to go ahead and exit on that. And we're going to start one player mode. <laughs> now, I certainly don't claim to be an expert at this game. But I've learned a little bit of how it works. So I know a little bit of its quirks. <laughs> and something I didn't really explain really well in my... Playthrough Super Double Dragon, because it was like years ago. I think it was 2014 is when that playthrough came out. What you want to do with the Double Dragon games is you want to keep... You want to use the punch, and you want... Oh, wow. I got hit by that knife. You want to keep them just out of your range of uh, hitbox, because... And try not to get between guys like this situation, because then they'll just jump kick you. Because if they're just out of your range, then they won't be able to hit you nearly as easily. Of course, I'm doing terribly on this run, but I can beat this game without gaming over now. Uh, sorry if you hear a lot of background noise to my windows open, because it's really uh, cool out. Um, I'm playing this because uh, I have no internet, and I'm surprised I actually even have power right now, because um, a tornado came through my town uh, not that long ago. Um, uh, and actually... Don't worry, I'm safe. A tree did fall down, but it was a small one and didn't hit my car or my house, but some other people on my street didn't get so lucky. Um, barely anyone in my town has power. For some reason, we do. Uh, so, I've just been spending the last few days... Uh, wow, I'm doing terrible in this run already. That's what I get for... Uh, um, I had practice at this game, but I haven't practiced it in a few weeks, so... <laughs> I'm not like trying to speedrun or anything, but... I have been getting better at it. I th in my practice uh, round that I did last night, I beat the first screen. I, I got through the first level. I didn't get like a, a death until the last screen, the first level. So I'm actually doing really terrible right now, comparatively. But yeah, if you get if you get them on one side, keep them on one side, and then just keep them right out of your hitbox range, your fist. Um, they typically can't do much. Also. The uh, up and down method does work here. They will follow you up and down if you need to get around them, because you will have to use that sometimes to beat enemies. But yeah, this is just a, a play, a quick playthrough. I'm gonna do. I'm not. I'm still on hiatus technically, so I didn't want to do like a full play, like a a big playthrough. So I just want to do something simple, quick, and figure this is something I can show off because I've recently gotten good at this game. Not like amazing, but better than I used to be. Like, this game used to kick my ass like crazy. And to be fair, the North American version is tougher. Uh, and I'm playing the Japanese version 1, because I I don't think I've ever done a Let's Play of the uh, North American version. Um, and I need footage. I did record this uh, footage of this on my uh, on my uh, Retro TO Plus HD, but the audio capture on that is so terrible. So I'm actually recording this off of, not only did I borrow my uh, roommate's uh, uh, Bill or Starfield's uh, um, EverDrive, uh, I'm also borrowing his Super Nintendo because I have a SNES 2, and the cable that I'm using right now, which is the Hyperkin HD cable, does not work on the SNES 2. It only works on Super Nintendos, specifically Super Nintendos that have RGB out. And so, this is not the best way to get high uh, HD footage off of your system, but it's official hardware, it looks good enough for me, and I'm sure there's going to be people in 
comments are going to be like, oh, it doesn't look good. And technically, the Super Retro Trio Plus looks a little better than this, but this is original hardware, and I'm, it's, it's upscaling the RGB to HD, so it's up to 720p, which is good enough for me. There's also some key differences between this and Super Double Dragon. For example, uh, the music that plays in this stage is the title uh, theme from the Super Double Dragon version, which is the North American version. They mixed up all the music for some reason. Uh, like, stage 4 in Super Double Dragon is the final stage theme, which is my favorite theme of the game. So, whenever people are like, oh, what's some of your favorite Super Nintendo music? I mean, oh, like, stage 4 from Super Double Dragon, and it confuses some people, because they're like, which version are you talking about? Okay, this is going to be tough, because they both got me on, one, on this one side, so... There we go. And the uh, hitbox thing does work on the bosses. What I mean by that is, just get them in the out outer range of your punch hitbox, and see, he'll probably block a lot, but he'll still get hit eventually. Like, he can't block it forever. And the up and down method works too, because they will follow you, but they'll just slightly be behind you. And there we go, that's the first stage done. Beat the boss and everything. Um, this stage's music is the exact same. Ah, I fell for that. I can't believe I fell for that. But at least I got all my health back. I only lost one life on the first stage, which is good. And you can also do this thing where you hold down forward while you punch, which can also give you an advantage. Because then if they're just out of your range, you can just do this. Uh, you know, get hit. Ah! Some of the enemy behavior is different in this game. The enemy placement is different. Um, so if you're used to Super Double Dragon, you'll be used to the gameplay, but uh, things will be different. Like, if you're super familiar with it, like, enemy placement is different. So if you're, like... I don't know what the speedrun tech of this game is, but... Um, this is uh, one of those ones that's uh, definitely different based on region. We've got Bimmy over here. Is what I like to call him. The green guy, I always like to call him Bimmy. Say that he's the third double dragon. He's the triple dragon. And when they go, Bleh, that's when you know they're dead. Ah, I'm getting my butt kicked now. Um, but yeah, no, I wanted to test using uh, this cable because I actually prefer using this adapter over using my. Retro Trio Plus. My Retro Trio Plus is great for recording Genesis and NES in HD, because it, it practically gets those two systems right. The only problem it has with the SNES uh, is audio. It sounds super distorted, because, like, it comes in really hot, because I think the audio chip they're using isn't nearly as good as the Sony chip. Damn it, died another life already. Wow. I was hoping I'd get through the first few levels, because I can get through the first four or five levels of using a continue in this game, but it looks like it's not good. It's not being nice to me right now, so... Uh, LP Curse, that's what I call it. But yeah, I just want something similar to get through, because I am still on hiatus. Uh, I moved recently. Uh, that's the reason I went on hiatus in the first place. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <sighs> ah, damn it. Well, but it hit him too, so... Damn. This guy just does not want to let me live. Okay, here we go. I could probably beat this in, like, three, four parts, if I'm lucky. The other reason I really put the, uh, I can do this in, like, five continues. The only reason I put it up to nine is because it's a let's play and things can go wrong, as you guys can plainly see. Again, I don't claim to be an expert in this game, but I try my best. So anyways, back to what I was saying. So, uh, I did my, in April, mid-April, I did my live 2D, uh, debut as a VTuber, uh, as a 2D VTuber, and it was stressful and full of work and uh, um, but it finally happened <clears throat> and then I decided I wanted to go on hiatus <clears throat> and originally that was uh, oh I gotta use one of the credits yep yep use one of the credits but um, I'm just gonna charge this up a little bit I keep forgetting that I can hold Eleanor to charge uh, so that was done and then immediately after that we found out oh We've got this house that we want to move into, but we had to move, like, super quick. So... So we didn't have a lot of time to move, and we just had to, like... Nothing of mine was packed. I think I found out about the move just before the, the uh, debut stream. But, like, I was like, I need to focus on this, and then I sort of was packing things 
sporadically here and there. It wasn't like the first time I moved in the apartment when I had like an entire month that I dedicated just to packing and stuff. Um, <clears throat> and so, I'm still on hiatus, I'm not back with Pokemon or anything like that, but uh, I'm running out of footage for power plays, uh, so I decided to record some zero plays for a bit, maybe get Blondie a little bit of a break too, just to see one of those guys are back. I'm gonna try and get these guys on the same side if I can. Okay, he's dead. Um, but yeah. Um, and so I moved, and then, like, um, this past week I got laid off from my job, which came out of nowhere. It was literally out of nowhere. Um, my boss had no idea that she was gonna have to lay me off, and she didn't want to. She just lost a... She lost a major customer of ours, and, uh, when that happens, you know, a major client, you know, you gotta make cuts somewhere, and, you know, it's a small company, so... You know, so, but I'm okay. I got six weeks of severance, so she's gonna pay me for six weeks. Um, so it's not like I'm getting screwed. And there's lots of IT work, so I'm not worried. Um, and then, of course, <clears throat> um, the whole tornado thing. Uh, I survived a tornado. This this is the long weekend if you're in Canada, May 2 full weekend. I'm recording this on Sunday, the 22nd. Um, but yesterday, the 21st, we had our first, we had a mild tornado. Like, we always get tornado watches in my area, but almost never. We almost never get a tornado. It almost never happens. So, I was really surprised when it happened, and I actually, I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't want to dox myself, so I'm not gonna show footage, but I did send some footage to friends and family. Uh, my ladies. Just to show them what happened, but like trees fell over people's houses and cars got damaged by trees. We got lucky. One tree fell over, um, and uh, most of the town doesn't have power, but we have power for some. I don't know why, but we do. <sighs> no, damn. It. But we got lucky. We got super lucky. So I am thankful. We got fucking. Alan Jackson over here. Full metal Alan Jackson. <laughs> he's six, he's got, it looks like he's got metal arms. Full metal Alan Jackson. Is that an episode title? It might have to be. See, he blocks, but eventually he will ch think he's smart and try to get through. If I'm lucky, I can beat this guy. Got him. Okay. I'm gonna charge this up so I can do a dragon kick here, in case I need to. Like, right here. <laughs> there was no reason for me to do that. But, hey, I got through the level and I didn't lose my a life on that. Well, I lost a life on that lo level, but I could have lost two. I didn't. But, uh, let's get through these guys real quick. Ah! You fucker. What's great about weapons is they have so much more range. I used to think that these nunchucks were hot dogs. Hot linked hot dogs or linked sausages when I was a kid. Um, so I'll probably clear the next screen and then we'll end the part, but I just want to get through this here. I love the way this stage looks too. This stage is normally where they play the Double Dragon uh, theme song, which makes no sense to me, but they did that. Okay, and that comes back. It does not in Super Double Dragon. Uh, um, the uh, boomerang does not come back at Super Double Dragon. Once you've used it, it you've used it. It does not come back, but you have to be careful because if it does come back, that can become a pain in the ass. Okay, trying to get these guys on the same side, but he's being clever. Okay, come on, come on. Come here, Bimmy. Alright, is that it for this screen? Yes, it is. Okay. So, guys, uh, we're going to end this here. Next time on Zero Plays Double uh, Return of Double Dragon uh, for Super Nintendo, we'll uh, continue on this game. We'll continue on level three. See you then. <laughs> <laughs>